So I was searching through drone uh, news today, and I came across an article uh, that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, it's going to be uh, via Axiom. So we have here, Walmart launches drone delivery in Utah. All right. So we all know about how drones are going to be pretty much taking over the world. <laughs> and as a Part 107 pilot, uh, I know a lot of you guys um, have done jobs like this probably. Um, I primarily just do photography and art with it. Um, but there's plenty of you guys out there that do agriculture. Uh, you fly around and you do uh, inspections. So there's tons of things you can do with a drone. And this now is actually one of them. Uh, we've been hearing about this for years. Uh, and, and so it says here, I guess there are a few other states that are doing it. But this, uh, this just popped down today. So 12 hours ago. So here, I just want to go through this article real quick with you guys and see um, what you guys think about it. Because there are some things that I have some questions about and some remarks. I just want to thank you guys for checking out the channel. I'm going to hopefully be doing some more updates like this, uh, little videos that uh, go over some drone news and primarily just things in the art industry, but with me, mostly drone. All right, so we got two Utah Walmarts are now providing drone delivery for nearby customers. All right, details. The location is Linden uh, and Harriman. I guess that is Harriman, <laughs> uh, launched the delivery service in partnership with DroneUp last month. Now, DroneUp is a company kind of like a um, like a like a DoorDash, I would say. You can put your you, you're basically a contractor and they will provide you with jobs. Um, so you in, you download an app, you apply to their uh, to their company, you'll get the app and then you pick up jobs through DroneUp and we'll check it out right here. We have so this is DroneUp's website, um, and you can see delivery services. They have retail, food, medical, brand activation. I, I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> uh, so they got airspace management, flight services, construction, commercial real estate, insurance, maritime. Uh, so they do tons of things. So if you are a pilot, you can sign up to DroneUp. Now, this isn't sponsored, but you can sign up to DroneUp and uh, you know pick up work. Now, we have heard some things about DroneUp, uh, so I took a look. Uh, some people say it's a great place to work for. Some people uh, say it's not so great of a place to work for. So here we got equity, diversity, and inclusion. I guess they're not so good on that. Uh, it does not offer correct pay for the amount of work that has to be done. Now I did check up um, Indeed, and that had like five negative comments, but I don't know if they're even real. So again, it's hard to trust these websites. All right, so for a $3.99 fee, customers living within a mile of the stores can get products flown to their home. Each store is equipped to handle up to 120 drone deliveries per day. Uh, the drones can carry packages up to 10 pounds. So nearly a decade ago, commercial drone delivery was considered ambitious. Now some Utahns uh, can order from a list of 10,000 items like a bag of chips or toothpaste. So if you want your toothpaste flown to you, you're in a, within a mile then, you know, hey, go for it in Walmart in Utah. All right, so Walmart is currently operating drone delivery in seven states. So we can take a quick look at these real quick. Uh, let's see. Looked like we had Dallas. Uh, yeah. All right, that, this doesn't really do much. Thanks, Axios. Uh, so, all right, let's get back to this. So the intrigue, the most commonly flown products include cookies and cream, uh, and cream ice cream. Um, I guess only cream ice cream, <laughs> only cream. Uh, a two pound bag of lemons, rotisserie chicken, Red Bull, on, and paper towels for Walmart. Walmart, that's who says this. All right, so you can vis visit droneupdelivery.com to see if you're eligible for deliveries and to place orders. All right, hubs are located in Walmart parking lots and operated by Federal Aviation Administration certified pilots. So that is uh, part 107 pilots like us. Uh, we can, again, through Drone Up, can, can do these deliveries. Now they'll come down clearly as a... Uh, as just a job so you don't work for walmart you'll work for drone up well you, you know so what they're saying from time to time the customers orders the product on the website to deliver it to their house in, within 30 minutes so it's a very fast and efficient way of getting the product uh anthony Vitone, drone up chief operating to officer told axios 
Now, this is sort of like, uh, I think Amazon said they were going to do something like this. I'm not totally sure. I didn't look into it. Uh, but e even if you live within a certain mile of Amazon, you can get things delivered to you via car, like within a few hours. So this is kind of one step above that. Uh, so the question that I had was this is, is part 107 pilots, we, um, we have a, a few rules, just a few. And uh, one of them is to keep your drone within sight. Okay. Now, I don't know about you, but I start to lose sight of my drone about, I mean, I, and I drive, I, I fly a DJI Air 2S and I lose sight of that thing about a thousand feet. It's tough if I'm not constantly paying attention to it. Um, but that's just in the air, clear skies. Now, I, this is the problem I have is, is I don't know how these big corporations kind of skate past that because the way I look at it, I don't see them seeing these drones the entire time, keeping a line of sight. Now, I don't know if they have a spotter that drives around watching the drone, but it sounds like a logistic nightmare, honestly. So I don't really, I'll have to dig more into this if you guys want me to, or if you know any information, or if you've actually done these jobs before, please comment down below. Let me know. We'll start a dialogue about this because that, that part right there makes me question some things. I don't see how they could see this thing within you know a mile and then safely land it watching you know like the cameras work but that's not 360 view sometimes a camera doesn't catch a branch or something's behind you or something's flying up on you you know you need to see those things and the camera won't be looking at those things all the time so i don't understand where these guys uh get to kind of skate past that rule I don't know. I could be ignorant. Like I said, if you guys know, please leave a comment and let me know. So that's pretty much it on this one. I could go through the rest, but it's, you know, one more line. Camille Dunn, Director of Corporate Communications at Walmart, told Axios, it's an option for busy adults for instances like shipping, an ingredient for a recipe, or a thermometer for a sick child. Because, you know, got to get that thermometer flown to you. There's delivery services for this. I think this also could just be PR stuff. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I mean, it's interesting. And you know, it made headlines. So it's got to be big news, but it could just be a PR stunt. Again, I want to know how they keep line of sight on this. I mean, are they taking off at Walmart? Are someone driving them? That could be it. You know, now that I think of it, somebody could be driving them while they're flying in the car. I mean, it's a lot, but it has been done. So maybe again if you guys know let me know down in the comments and we'll you know figure this one out but pretty much that's it on this article uh again if you guys want to continue to see these things i'll try to keep putting them up um, just let me know if you like these things and th those are the two dogs back or one dog just chilling so you know please like share subscribe all those things uh, and I'll keep you up to date with all the drone news that I can possibly do within my very busy life. All right, thank you guys and have a great night.